today on Twitter Nigeria. I think the conversation is still ongoing at the moment, but kind of subtle. Um, Twitter Nigeria was buzzing for almost 24 hours with stories of heartbreak, and we thought it would be nice to share some of it with you and also get yours. So if you've been heartbroken and you want to share your story, I, I, I believe by now you'll be laughing about it anyway. So if you want to just share your story with us, please send to us via WhatsApp to 0906005719. So for La Olatunji tweeted saying, someone I dated had a blog. Weeks after breakup, I was still monitoring the daily blog. Um, she now dropped an I miss you, nothing has been the same post. Mumumi went to drop me too, let's talk. She sent me a test to delete it that it was her ex before me, not me. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Raje. Then the next one from Eddie, he tweeted saying, my first heartbreak was this girl that begged me to leave my place temporarily because her father was coming to visit her from the east and she had been lying to him that she had her own place. So I left my place lovingly, not knowing that she was bringing her real boyfriend. Real, real, underline it, real boyfriend. <clears throat> when I left my apartment, it was inside my car I went to sleep. I actually drove to another road in our estate, packed and slept inside. Mosquitoes finished me. I was planning to sleep there for a second night if the security did not call me to tell me what's up. At Akoke Billion says, um, I was stroking my boyfriend's neck that fateful night while he was talking through the car speaker with his friend. And that one just randomly asked him, asked after his wife and son in the UK. And he just casually said, oh, they are very fine. I froze. I'm a side chick. Amy. me. <laughs> And the final one we can take before we have the conversation is from Kiki Modi. Um, she's apparently telling the story of her friend. She says, my guy came all the way from Lagos to surprise his babe in Eko Sodin and saw size 45 palm slippers outside her door. He cried back to God is good and caught boys still collect his boot five before baggage tears. So. And size 45 slippers can be the plumber now. Uh -uh. Well, you know how what happens with plumbers in those videos, yeah? Okay. Yeah, have been watching too much brothers. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you ever been heartbroken? Not me. Hmm. Not me. Bad guy. Me. I haven't. I haven't been heartbroken. I felt some type of weird relationship, but I don't get to that level where I'll let a woman break my heart. Mm. I don't think I would ever let that happen. So it gets to a point where you just know that it's time to move on. You get what don't work for you, you, you get, you just need to okay, move really on. Okay, really quickly, let's define heartbreak. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Do you want to help yeah. us? No, I, I wonder, because you said you, you, feel, you feel some type of way, but it's not really, it's, you've never experienced a heartbreak. All it's, right, so okay. I could feel like... Uh, the connection is not there. The spark is not there. Which the is sad. And you feel like it doesn't hurt that. you that it's not Yeah, there hurt anymore. is a good word. Uh, it, it, it may hurt me for a little bit. Well, not break yeah, the heart. Yeah. Not break the heart. <laughs> okay, so that's how I know what the breaking of yeah. the heart means. The heart is like, oh, I'm crying, I'm crying, I eat, I can't do shit. But it's not. <laughs> but not but it, do you have to be like that to consider what you're experiencing in heartbreak? Do you have mm. to be like completely yeah, utterly like crushed? Angle, considering the fact that we all handle things differently. Very differently. And now that you're saying that maybe I've actually been heartbreaking. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, I have to we all have have one not, way or the yeah. other. Because but I not to say, this one that they will collect my boot five no, and they'll not, yeah, I mean, this is dramatic. Else. But I feel like, I feel mm. like I, I personally don't respond in dramatic, in overly dramatic ways. Before when you it comes finish that, there's this one I think we need to take okay. from at skinny NGR guy. Mm. He says, I mean, it's interesting. He says, you would think you've seen heartbreak. Think again. Then he went ahead to share a screenshot of his girlfriend um, telling him she's getting married the next day. Oh, I don't know, but if you saw the <laughs> one where the guy said that um, his girlfriend came over, paid the bills for the food, paid for the food, yeah. paid for everything. Mm -hmm. They had an amazing time that night, and then. She Cooks left very him, early in the money. morning and, and yeah, cooked for him, did everything with her money that day. And then when she left, she dropped him, um, the invitation to, to her wedding. wedding. Damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the wedding part is a bit extreme, but when I want to break up with someone, I'm exactly like that. I'm very nice. I'm wow. very, like, I'm trying mm. to make everything Not look, them. you know, like, okay, well, because I, I don't want us to worry. fight. My girlfriend is extremely or, like, nice ah, to me this period. I don't want us to fight. I don't want it to be an argument thing. I will not really sit down. And that's the kind of person that I don't want to explain what I'm breaking about. I'll just say it's not you, it's me. And I'll make mm -hmm. sure everything. I hate that I, line. I, I, I do that. Like, if, I, if, you, if you've ever heard me say that line to you, you were the problem. I just couldn't be bothered to explain. So I'll just say, oh, it's about, it's, it's about me. I'm just not in a right. <laughs> I'm going to fight myself. I'll give you one kind of speech but i'll be really nice about it so i mean i i kind of get that but for wedding invitation mm. 
in your loud. Yeah, baby. and the people they are dragging, they say loud. Igbo babes, they never have girlfriends. Sorry, they never have boyfriends. You just hear, they're either single or married. I, can, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, it is. Are you, are you single? Thing? I think so. I'm single, though. But like single married, to nah. like that you be no, married I'm next week or like Are you seeing anyone? <laughs> Am I are you not seeing me? Are you blind? Can't you see me? I'm seeing <laughs> Okay, that one <laughs> Are you seeing anyone? So yeah, I'm single, I'm not married. <laughs> when I'm married, I'm married. But I'm I'm but are I'm you with really anyone? single. With anyone. I'm with <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah. So, like in the heartbreak conversation, I think a lot of people some sometimes uh, with people who don't dramatize their heartbreak and they're not crying yeah. or whatever, I, and they're not stopping work. Or yeah, I feel life. like those guys are usually undermined because I know I feel yeah. a lot of pain, but people just don't people give me that my much pain. Uh, yeah attention because I'm not like. But yeah, it's really heartbreaking. My story, if I can share my story, Please that I can say was like the most painful, and I have to put into context. Cause this happened to me in high school. School. So maybe now on the grass of things it might not be nice. But in high school when you have a boyfriend, everybody knows, right? Because mm. you work together to break, you work together back home. So it was a public thing. And I really liked him, however. And then all of a sudden, I think I've done that for like two weeks. Two weeks in high school is like three, you've been dating for like six months. You know, mm. like it's mm -hmm. intense. So all of a sudden one day I go and do the normal routine while meeting here. The guy did not show up. Break time, he'd not show up again. Yeah. And, you know, he just didn't he like stop showing up and everything. I'm not gonna visit I'll not go to his class and say, Oh, is everything okay? I almost said his name. <laughs> is everything okay? Blah blah blah. And then he said everything is fine two days after. He's doing the same routine with another girl. Oh. How many years ago was it? I was in high school, like SS1 or SS2. Don't respond to that. I don't know. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so he just said hanging out with another person. Everybody said, you guys are cute together. And this girl, let me now put into context why it was even really painful. At that time, I didn't have any breast or bum bum. And this girl did. And it pained me that, ah, I can't even, I can't even compete with this girl because I don't have any of it. So, and this guy, let me, 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 Guy was hmm. my pa his name was my password to every single thing. I had to go I back to the it. computer room in tears and changing every single password for Twitter, Aww. for Facebook, for email, for everything. Because I said I love you, something, something was my password. Elsie, when we're talking about high school, do we know what Twitter, Facebook, all those things were? Okay, if fair. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand it, but let's just move on. This heartbreak story, we don't want to start crying yet. No. Okay, cool.